FM 23 Grassroots to Glory, Youth Intake with Jason Marks, Prince and Dave Partridge in association with the FM Hub. What do you do when your main striker gets injured for the rest of the season? That is a question for Michael Rosendale here at Salford City. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Route One FM, and this is FM Twenty Three Grassroots to Glory. Now, if you haven't already, click that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road for four hundred and fifty subscribers, and we've just broken the four hundred mark, so we're doing well at the minute. Also, thank you very much for watching the series at the minute. I'm getting some good numbers, so. A good few of you are enjoying it so thank you very much also with christmas upon us you can still get a five percent discount using root fm on twogame.com please click the link below go over there and get a christmas present they've got some christmas deals going on so hopefully you can find the game that you want now i apologize now due to my health i was not feeling 100 percent. i was all snotty and if, and uh, a little bit cold had a cold so i was unable to produce a video last week so my apologies about that but episode eight we are back here at salford with michael rosendale who has now as you heard from the intro lost one of his main players for the rest of the season and that's Callum Hendry he's got himself injured which is not great at the minute he's got a little um where is he at the minute he's got to be around here somewhere that's all the risk of some current injuries that's what we wanted there it is torn knee ligaments suffered in january which literally they say estimated between two and three months by the time it gets match fit you're looking four to five months so big problems there but we've had the tran january transfer window which we'll go to after action from lincoln and wigan so Without any further ado, let's head over to Root of the Day to see that action. Oh. Welcome back to the Palencia, where Lincoln is the visiting team. And as you see, Danny Drinkwater testing the keeper quite early there from a great free kick. Rosendale's form at the minute has been supply sublime at the minute he's doing really well being towards the top of the league which is great and it helps when you've got players on form people like callum hendry look bolton in there beckham also getting involved having a great season old romeo beckham we've got harvey neville as well who's doing a job the defense is very good leck and natalie in there as well ins is in as well in there but look at that beckham over the top hendry and what a goal there great ball over the top beckham picking hendry out in the middle to make it one nil that's a fantastic start this is why hendry is so vital to the team it is a corner or goal kick shall i say taken up looking to put salford on the defense but bolton's comes back Torre, who's been out, his deputant, Becco, is in the team today. King retains his place as well. He's finding that competition with Hinton going really well. Shepard here playing at right back. Comes in to Cabraff. Drink water. That Manchester United connection there. Up to Beckham. Looking for Williams and Williams narrowly over the bar. Again, a lot of Man United former players in on this. Natalie. Out to Shepherd. Shepherd to drink water. 
In it goes to Romeo Beckham. Romeo Beckham's driving. Pulls across and Hendry's in for a second. It's 2-0 to Salford. What a great little passenger play that was. What more can you ask for from this team? Rosenau have gotten playing brilliantly. Natalie, Shepherd into Beckham again. Loses it, but wins it back. Does he? Yes, he does. Great ball over the top. Hendry's in. Oh, he's round the keeper. That's a hat-trick. Hendry's got a hat-trick. What a great game for the Scott. And this is why he's getting goals. That's his, I think, ninth or tenth of the season so far. So his goals have been vital. And there is a consolation of both Draper and Lincoln. But we switched off there at the back. But we move on. Drinkwater's corner. And there it is. It's a little header there by Leck. He makes it 4-1. 4,278 fans see this 4-1 victory. And now we're back home against Wigan. Wigan being one of the competitors for the title this season. So the question is, is how well can Rosendale Salford do? And Toja's in early and forces a save. Toja has literally gone on a score and run. He has been unstoppable at the minute. And I think he's currently on about 26 goals already this season. So... That's really good in all competitions, I will say. But Wigan looking hot favourites. Will Keane in on, in on their team. Max Power as well. Lang. They've got some good players there. And they know how to get a result. And, oh, that's a bit of a push. Eames has given away a penalty to McGrath. Who scores? Wigan lead here against Salford. 1-0 McGrath from the penalty spot. Question is, what can Rosendale do to reply? And it's a little cheeky free kick there by Toro, which is just over the bar. And again, we started with a new formation. We've gone three at the back here. Rosendale wanting to pack the defence to stop them from scoring. And it looked like it worked. Toro getting back in and Haygraf getting an equaliser, which was really good for him. Built his confidence as his third of the season. Shepard, who's playing out as a wing-back today. Inns, Leck and Natley all in the defence. And all been really good so far. Restricting Wigan to what they can do. Simone from distance, narrowly over the bar. Had a great shot there. Simone trying to get back into the Angola national team as well. And I think he's doing it well on this performance. Ball across, could have got Haygraf in again. It didn't quite work. Out to Hinton. Back to Nutley. Inns. Inns to Drinkwater. Drinkwater to Gibra. Northern Irishman. Plays it in Torre. Into Haygraf. And he should have done better there. Could have been his second of the evening. Torre. Torre loses out. Ball's played up. Leck. Leck to Gibra. Gibra over the top. Simone. One touch. Oh, it's in. Simon has scored. What a finish that was. Just literally over the shoulder. One bounce and hit it directly across the goal. 2-1 to Salford now at home. Powers tries to get up to Graf. Oh, and Scully has nipped in round the back to make it 2-2. Two, two. You can't argue about that. Little bit of action left. Ball gets played out long. Bellingham. One of the new signings into Hudson and Hudson just past the post. Hudson and Bellingham joining in the summer, in the window. And you join us here at the transfer window to let you know who's come in in the winter, winter transfer window. Now, as you can see, I finally got myself in now, coming as a free transfer. Myself, Chris Root, Root 1 FM, is finally, again, joining Salford City. But, Kobe Moore, who we've brought in as well, we've loaned back 
from to FC United. Just for cover, a youth cover there. Kai Corbett has come in from Bolton for £275,000. So a winger needed an extra winger because Simone was getting tired on the left. Needs someone who could play both sides. Plus Romeo Beckham's got cover with Bolton and Williams. So he's a very good acquisition, old Corbett. So former West Ham player as well, actually. So he's got up to four star potential. And he's at three and two and a half at the minute. So good things can come from him at the age of 21 as well. So really good there. We've also bought in on a free transfer because of the injury to Callum Hendry. We bought the tallest player in English football, Carl Hud Hudlin. So I shall say, I'll probably pronounce his name wrong, but he's coming from Huddersfield on a free transfer just to give us a little bit of depth. And I'll tell you something, he's got some goals at the minute, which is the main thing. He's got a couple in his time with us, but he's not. He's played seven out of a possible 11 with two goals. Ain't doing too bad for us. And the name on everyone's lips, I managed to get his younger brother, Ju oh, Job Bellingham, has come in from Birmingham. Love to make him a permanent transfer, but the question is we've got to get the right money in. He's got one goal, one assist to his name. We'll give him a try just to see how good he can be. So there is Rosendale's transfer window. But the question is, how's his season been? Now, we're going to take it. Go from October where a 4-1 win at Port Vale. We lost 2-1 to Norwich under-21s. Burton got a 2-0 victory before losing 2-0 to Bolton. But we then redeemed ourselves with 2-0 wins against Rotherham and Shrewsbury before a 6-3. What a game that was. Toja getting four goals in that one against Crew. November saw literally unbeaten. What more can you ask for? 1 0 against Bristol Rovers. Cambridge 1 0. Shrewsbury 2 1 victory. Lincoln, you just seen that, uh, that one in the Papa John's actually, was a 2 1 victory. Wickham 2 0. And then the game with Justin Lincoln, a 4 1 victory. But we then lose to Plymouth 3 2 for Jason Marks, our content creator for Eyes Plays FM. He gets his first senior goal against Leeds under 21s. We get a 3 1 victory against Crawley before defeats against Charlton. A draw against Orient, defeat against Stoke, draw against Plymouth. We get a Boxing Day victory against Port Vale and finish the year with a 1-0 win against Burton. January didn't start great. 0-0 draw against Rotherham, a 1-0 defeat against Bolton. Then Derby, we win 1-0. Barnsley. Then in the third round of the FA Cup, we go out. Sorry, sorry guys, Salford are out of the FA Cup this year. Shrewsbury, 2-1 victory. Crew 2-1. Fleetwood, 3-0. Portsmouth, we lose 2-1. You've just seen it. The 2-2 against Wigan. We went to Portman Road and Beckham and Hudlin scored vital goals in a 2-1 victory against the Tractor Boys and then a 5-1 victory against Cambridge which leaves us March, April and then finishing against Stoke in May to look forward to. The question is how good are we in the league at the minute? Well I can tell you now there is a game in hand for Salford City who lies second. Bolton well out in front, 84 points. They've won the league. Let's let's put it that way. Unless there's a, an absolute disaster, 
Bolton are winning the league. So the question is, where would Salford finish? They're currently on 69, Wigan on 68. Could it be second or third in that? We've got Stoke in there, Bristol Rovers and Ipswich. So we have got vital wins there, but it could come all the way down to that final day of the season against Stoke. So media predicted 15th at least with beating expectations and Rosendale has up there with second place. They're talking about Rosendale ball with the journalists. So that's really good. Let's go and have a look to see how the board is faring with Rosendale. And I can tell you, it's nothing but praise. The board feedback, A+. plus. We're still not working within a budget. We're not playing the attack and football they want, but we are getting results. That's the main thing. And the supporters are A+, plus as well. So results are coming. A little bit of disappointment with direct football and playing attack and football, but results are coming. In the way of our goal scorers, let's look at this. This is where it gets interesting. Like I said, our top goal scorer and our vital cog for the season is Toja. 28 goals in 28 games. That is fantastic for the former Brighton striker. And then his best career so far, Romeo Beckham. 25 games, 9 goals, emulating his father is brilliant. Obviously, Callum Hendry's in there with 8 goals at the minute. So, and this, this is obviously not all the goals have been counted for in this, but he's struggling with the injury. Simone's in there with 5, Inns with 4, Watts with 3, Hey Graf with 3, Carl Hudson with 2. Williams with two, Bolton with two, and then a load on one, which includes Bellingham, Drinkwater, Ryan Watson. So, a lot of people are chipping in with goals. On the player front, we could be losing a few players come the new season. Ryan Watson seems to be wanting to leave. So, who knows what's going to happen, but we won't do we won't see any transfers for Rosendale now until he knows what league he is in. So guys, we are going to leave it there. Episode 8. The one before the Christmas video. Guys, don't forget, get your 5% discount from 2game.com. Head over there now to get your latest titles. And don't forget to click that like button hit that subscribe button we're still on the road for 450 subscribers also go and check out the fm hub as well um, we're doing a lot of work there getting some tournaments going and get your content on there and we will help you promote you and overall if i don't get a chance to say hello to you have a lovely christmas We'll do a Christmas episode next week, but have a lovely Christmas if I don't see you before. But no matter what you call it, football, soccer, football, just remember, it's for the love of the game, and it's everyone's game. And I will see you next time.